Mercedes cry wolf yet again as Mercedes are starting behind Red Bull and Ferrari at F1 testing. Lewis Hamilton, we can close the gap. I mean, let's be real, right? See the end of last season? Mercedes were on the pace of Ferrari. Maybe not in quality, but in the race they were quicker. I don't think anyone can actually sit here and have a case to fucking deny that. I think it was blatantly obvious that was the way it had turned around. Um, Button, Jensen Button has predicted about um, a freeway title fight, which I kind of agree with. Of course, testing starts tomorrow, so if you want to check out all the latest and follow the latest on F1 testing, then you hit that like, comment, subscribe, all the buttons here on Fog Racing. Notifications as well. Fire them on. Because that's what we want. But anyway, Total Wolf is adamant that Mercedes will eventually have a front-running car in Formula 1 2023, though... The recovering team believe they will be starting behind Red Bull and Ferrari at pre-season testing. Oh, always the crying, man. I, 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 I just hope Ferrari get their fucking act together, man, and win the title. Because I, I actually cannot stand Red Bull or Mercedes at this current point in time. I've actually, no, I, I like Leclerc and I like Sainz. I mean, I look at, I look at Red Bull. I mean, I actually don't mind Verstappen and Perez. I don't like Horner. I mean, and Verstappen's won the last two, so let's give it to somebody else. And Mercedes, I've never really liked Mercedes, to be honest, so yeah. Um, but they're greeting about this, guys, and I'm not really buying it. You know, they're starting behind. What worse? Says what, man? Red Bull, of, I don't know, man. It's just Red Bull have got that whole, you know, weight, the uh, fucking the time deduction thing factored in. But anyway, what I'm going to do with this video is five bold predictions for pre season tests. And of course, it starts this week, so yeah. And then next week, it actually starts. How great is that? It's almost race week. But prediction number one. Alpha Tari will be the slowest car coming out of pre-season testing. I mean, that may not sound too bold considering they finished ninth last year. But I think a lot of people are just predicting Williams to finish last. And to be honest, I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if Williams were last. But the combination of Yuki Tsunoda and Nick DeFries is probably the weakest on the grid. If I'm being honest, I mean, not that Albon and um, Logan Sargent's great, but I, I, I feel like out the four, Alexander Albon's the best driver. I don't even rate Albon, so that kind of just tells us the way I think about the other three. Um, at prediction number two, McLaren will not be best of the rest. And again, I know they weren't best of the rest last year, but a lot of people putting hype into McLaren that they should have took that jump last year that they didn't and they should be amongst them, but I don't think they will be. I think McLaren are going to be very similar to last year, but I think there is going to be a new best of the rest team. And I'm going with Aston Martin because they've got a lot of fucking money. Now, I know Felipe Drogovic has uh, stepped in for Lance Stroll, but it's all about Fernando Alonso. If they give him a reliable car that's quick, Alonso will do things. And I mean, Tommy for w uh, P1, WTF1. P1 with Matt and Tommy predict that Alonso will finish best of the rest. And to be honest, I can see that happening. Um, prediction number four. Ferrari will be the fastest car at pre-season testing. Not a massive shock there, but it is what it is. And the final prediction is that Nico Hulkenberg will top a day in pre-season pre -season testing. We kind of saw it last year with Haas where I think it was like the last day last year where... Magnussen, of course, gets drafted in because Mazepin, just being a dickhead, <laughs> well, I'll say being a dickhead, man, he kind of gets shafted because, I mean, I'm, I don't even want to talk about Mazepin in Russia, right, because what happened to every Russian person, I think, is a bit of a joke, regardless of Mazepin, I mean, if you just break it down to, I mean, if Britain go to war, right, unrightfully so, does that make Lewis Hamilton a dickhead? A cunt? No, it doesn't. Anyway. I'm going to predict Nico Hulkenberg to top a day, just like Magnussen did last year. Until next time, guys, that's it for Fog Racing, and peace.